गुड मॉर्निंग सी आई स्कॉलर्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एट योर होम इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव स्टार्टेड चैप्टर फोर दैट इज द टेम्परेट एंड फ्रिजिड जोन वेयर आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द ग्रास लैंड अबाउट द टेम्परेट जोन द क्लाइमेट एंड द प्लांट लाइफ नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वाइल्ड लाइफ एट टेम्परेट जोन एंड द लाइफ ऑफ द पीपल सो लेट्स बिगिन आर वीडियो but before starting our topic let's revise the old video what are the points which we have discussed we have discussed about the grassland what is grassland the soft and wild grass that covered the large portion in the temperate zone is called grassland now these grassland are known by different names in the different countries and continents like in north america it is called with prairies in russia it is called steppes in south america pampas in south africa it is wilderness then in australia it is downs now what about the climate the climate in the temperate zone is extremely hot during the summer and quite cold in winter season there is moderate rainfall during summer and heavy snowfall during winter what about the plant life the temperate grand grassland are generally treeless there are no trees only there are some grasses and what are the common grasses which are found in this region these are rye grass buffalo grass fox tail and alfalfa there are some crops which are being grown by farmers what are the names of these crops wheat and corn so this is all which we have discussed in our last video now let's start the wildlife at temperate zone there are different animals different uh, the temperate grassland are home to many kinds of animals what are the names of that animals the animals which are found in various grasslands are prairies of north america we found buffalo elk bison wolf and prairie dogs in pampas of south america we found rhea and deer in downs of australia we found emu kangaroo and wallaby in steppes of russia sheep ibex and vultures are found in wildies of south america uh, south africa lion and leopards are found look at this this is a picture of different animals those who are found in different grasslands this is wallaby this is gray fox ibex elk so these are the different animals now let's see some of the animals and its unique features first of all we have prairie's dog look at this they don't look like a dog they look like a squirrel yes so what are the features all five species of prairie dogs belong to the squirrel family and they are found in north america they are fast skill fighters arm um, with sharp claws and powerful teeth so they have a sharp claws as well as powerful and very strong teeth prairie dogs are social animals they are social animals they live underground in a family groups called coteries so this is all the features of prairie dog now let's find see the other animal that is elk they are also found in north, north america this is a deer in an herbivorous family this deer is an herbivore who feeds upon plants their usual diet is based on wide variety of vegetation including leaves and bark of trees elks are found in prairies of north america and they produces a unique sound which is called a bark and then when threatened these animals communicate with each other so if there is any kind of danger then they communicate with each other through various signals and through various sound such as hissing curling back the upper lip and grinding the teeth so through that they can communicate with each other so these are some of the features of elk now let's see the other animal this is ibex and they are found in steppes of russia now this is ibex is basically a wild goat which are found in steppes in russia they are herbivores they only eat vegetation such as shrubs bushes and grasses and they can jump more than 6 feet straight up without a running start 
this helps them to climb mountains and big rocks so this is what these are some of the features of ibex now let's see the other animal this is a bird that is emu it is found in downs in australia and do you know that it is the second biggest bird in the world so emu are the second biggest bird in the world they are found in downs of australia and they are 5.2 to 6.5 feet 6.5 feet high look at this how high this bird is 5.2 to 6.5 feet high and their weight is between 66 to 100 pounds they eat plants and insects like grasshoppers beetles and cockroaches they can live between 10 and 20 years in the wild so what is their uh, life span they live between 10 to 20 years in wild they are covered in soft fluffy feathers they have two sets of eyelids one for blinking and other for keeping the dust out they are australia's national bird so they are also the australia's national bird and they appear on its 50 percent coin so this is all the features of emu i hope that through this you will get a lot of information about all these animals those who are found in these grassland now let's see what is the life of people in these grassland the temperate grasslands are densely populated because most of the area has been cleared for agriculture purpose now farming is the main occupation so people those who are living here they do farming in these grassland the farms are very large and people use modern and new technology or machinery for farming people who are living in north america has his own large ranches ranches means they have a very large places where they kept all their house horses sheep and the cattle animals for the wool for dairy products and all people who live in downs of australia keep merino sheep so those who are uh, living in australia downs of australia they keep merino sheep and merino sheep gives a fine quality of wool which is known as merino wool so this is all about life of the people then the temperate grasslands are home to several indigenous tribes also who have been living in these regions for very long time the rigers tribes of steppes the hottentots of south africa and the american indians of north america are some of the tribes that live in this temperate grassland so these are the names of some tribes so this is all about the life of the people now what are the words which you have to remember the words which you have to remember are first is grassland grassland means a large open area covered with wild and soft grass second is chinook this i have already discussed in the last video what is chinook a hot dry winds which blow over the grassland in north america then indigenous people who belong to a particular place and have not migrated from another place that is indigenous and a ranch ranch uh, this also this word came in in this video only a large farm where animals like cattle cow and sheep are reared they are kept there so this is all the words which you have to remember and keep in your mind now what you have to do you have to read chapter 4 especially page number 43 and 44 and underline all the hard words which are which with pencil so by the time take care of your health stay at home and enjoy the learning thank you